Okay. I'm watching Hannibal. Uh, let's do it. Sorry, I sound horrible. I'm still sick. <laughs> this is going to be fun. This is my dedication to you. Watching a movie while I'm sick. If there's not a Grey's Anatomy character in this, why are you growling? Do you sense Hannibal coming? Anyways, if there's not a Grey's Anatomy character in this, wasted. Because there has been one in the other three and I have laughed so hard. Please. Don't let me down. <laughs> Barney's in it. I think Barney's kind of a big character. That's cool. <laughs> I kind of wish Sons of the Lambs had a minute more. Uh... I was expecting Mason's face to be like, like Two Face in Dark Mark. <laughs> Dark Knight, Batman. Um, and I understand this was what two thousand what, but man, that looks so plasticky fake. But at least I can't tell it's Gary Oldman because I was really sad when I heard it was him. Why would they still have his mask? And why would they be okay giving it to someone? That seems weird. I don't know. Um, also, wouldn't it be weird that someone wants to know all about Lecter? This is very dramatic. Um... Oh, man. <laughs> Just spraying her with water. I get that Julianne Moore has to, you know, have that accent, since that's Clarice's accent, but she doesn't sound like Clarice. He just said the Riz, oh my gosh, like, I can just see kids nowadays cringing, even though that's what they say, right? Uh, is it what they say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps losing her accent, too. <laughs> oh, no. It's very hard for me, because I love uh, Jodie Foster. So, going from Jodie to Julianne, I'm like, why? Like, what type of drugs? What drugs would make you do that? Wow, it took this movie for us to finally see him attack the nurse and eat her nose. But also, wasn't she, or wasn't Hannibal supposed to be laying in bed when that happened? Not out and about. So, it's like been a big deal in the book that he is hiding his left hand because he had six fingers, right? I don't... I think that was mentioned in any of the movies was it or did i miss it it was like barely mentioned in the books but this this book it was mentioned a lot there's some things that are being said on this tape that was never said in the movie or the book between Lecter and clarice i'm like how how can you throw this in but i also think it's because they had to have a conversation between Lecter. Is that Al Pacino? Um, but they needed Lecter to have a conversation with Julianne Moore. I'm gonna let you know if that's Pacino. <laughs> I'm kind of bummed because I didn't like read the um, Italian police officer as this jerky. He was more of a, like, okay, how am I going to, like, help my family? Okay, you know, I, I feel kind of guilty for selling Hannibal, but, you know, um, um, I get the money and I'll help my family. Whereas this guy looks shady and he's like, ah, ha, 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 give me the money. <laughs> okay, it is not Al Pacino, but, dude, he looked a whole hell of a lot like Al Pacino in that last shot that I just saw of him. I was way too tired to finish the other night, but let's pick it up. 
Here's the thing. At the end of Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Lecter was getting plastic surgery. Or he was changing his appearance. I think he wasn't getting plastic surgery. He was just making his appearance change by, like, dyeing his hair and stuff. Um, he is very obviously Hannibal Lecter in this. <laughs> and I'm like, I wonder everyone can fucking find you. <laughs> That is the coolest, like, dolly I've ever seen. Friggin' try wheels to get upstairs? Why am I so in awe about this? <laughs> what a yucky way to die. Blech. Why does it feel like the FBI in this movie is stupid? <laughs> uh, if I were them, I would have been looking at a certain someone who was feeding them information. Mason sitting on the roof, like, in his sunglasses and hat. He looks like the crazy, like, the old shriveled up lady fish from Spongebob. Like, chocolates? Did somebody say chocolates? <laughs> Imagine a serial killer getting you Gucci shoes. <laughs> This is so dumb. At no point in the book, unless I missed a whole freaking lot, did he full on have conversation with her on a phone. Like, what is happening? I just watched some pigs eat someone's face off. Oh, nasty. Oh, it got worse. It's hilarious. I love true crime, but I cannot handle blood and guts. <laughs> no freaking way is that how Mason dies. I mean, I guess it might not, but it sure looks like. No way. Book death is so much better. I really wish that Jody came back for this because I feel like all of these teams with Hannibal Lecter would have a little bit more meaning. I think, like, obviously we know it's Clarice, but like, I think acting wise, I think they would have been able to play off of that a little bit more. Bums me out. Let it out. Oh my gosh, he freaking ate his own brain. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like following the book and not. This was unexpected. This whole end is disgusting. The creators of this movie were like, Screw the end of the book. It sucked. We're going to do our own thing. And then we're going to suck too. 